As we kept driving through the Atherton Tablelands on our way to Ravenshoe, it wasn't long before we arrived at Mila Mila, famous for their stunning waterfall circuit. Take a walk and have a look around the town and then go and enjoy a cup of coffee. Best way to start the day. The Visitors Centre is also a historical museum and it's full of interesting items from yesteryear. Mila Mila is an Aboriginal word meaning plenty of water and it's also the start of the region's most popular tourist drive. The waterfall circuit visits three magnificent waterfalls, all in close proximity to each other. After an awesome day exploring the waterfalls, we checked into the Mila Mila Tourist Park for the night. Before you leave the area, head up to the Mila Mila Lookout for spectacular views and on a clear day, you'll have views to Atherton. 30 kilometres inland from Mila Mila is Ravenshoe, Queensland's highest town. While in town, you could have a cold drink at Queensland's highest pub, check out the Heritage Steam Train, or pop into the Visitor Information Centre for great displays about this region. Towering windmills just out of town are a sight to see, as they were built to provide the district with an alternative and environmentally friendly power supply. Ravenshoe is also home to Millstream Falls, Australia's widest single drop waterfall. And just down the road, you'll find Little Millstream Falls. As we continued west, we came across Innet Hot Springs. These springs can get quite hot, up to 75 degrees Celsius, so do be careful if you go into the water as it may burn you. You can stay at the popular caravan park next to the springs, where they have pools that have cooled the water from the hot springs to varying temperatures, so you can go for a swim or soak in them. The picturesque Waruma Swamp in Mount Garnet is only a 10 minute drive from the hot springs. This beautiful region in tropical North Queensland has many small towns, each with their own unique natural experience to enjoy.